Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe and support. If you don't like these videos, and subscribe and follow and support your professionals on YouTube. You're you're not helping us. We're not gonna be motivated to come on here and give you guys tea and reveal the secrets. So please follow, subscribe, and support by engaging in our content. Thank you. These ingredients. <sighs> That I'm gonna mention, unfortunately, I mean, they do work, don't get me wrong, they do work. But when you got that African dark skin, when you got that dark, dark skin, you know what I'm saying? Like, when your skin is dark, it's just, it's just hit a little different, okay? So you gotta take different measures. You gotta follow up with ingredients that'll actually give you results. I know a lot of you guys do not wanna wait a year to see improvements in your skincare with ingredients or skincare products. So this video is for all of you guys that are kind of frustrated from using certain ingredients that you're not seeing results from and are looking for something that are going to give you not immediate results, but ingredients that will actually work. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the ingredients that are not gonna work and I'm gonna talk about ingredients that you should probably substitute for. The first on my list here is Afrobutin. I've talked about Afrobutin before. I've made a video about it. You can check it out up here. Afrobutin is a plant derived form of hydroquinone, which is gold standard for brightening, which most dermatologists actually will recommend. My dermatologist prescribed me hydroquinone. Afrobutin, as much as it's great, it works better for people of lighter skin tone. Natural ingredients just don't work as good as chemical ingredients. I'm sorry. Like chemical ingredients will forever win when it comes to natural ingredients and natural doesn't equate better. Okay. So this one, as much as it's a great ingredient and has been researched and proven to work in controlled groups, it just doesn't work as well in people of dark skin as when people would probably never even see results. So unfortunately, Afrobutin is no. Okay, so the next product is Bokucho. Bokucho is a natural derived form of retinol. So it's supposed to act like retinol, but it's, it's a natural form of it. Again, for the same reasons for our for beauty and there's a reason why this one would probably not work for your dark skin. It's probably why you're not seeing results in your dark skin, then your hyperpigmentation, your dark spots are not fading. This is the reason why. Natural, again, doesn't equate better. Chemical will forever take the cake when it comes to natural. Next ingredient here is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid also also is a brightening ingredient, naturally occurring ingredient found in barley, wheat, and rye. It has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory properties, has brightening properties as well as it helps in treatment of acne and rosacea. Unfortunately, again, natural, natural, natural doesn't equate better. I use it as one of those add-on ingredients, but I don't use it as like my major, major treatments in my skincare routine. All right, now let's switch into products that you actually see to work for your hyperpigmentation. So number one is hands down retinoids. Retin Retinoids, retinoids, retinoids. I be telling y'all, retinoids literally saved my skin. If you watch my video where I answered you guys' questions up over here, I talked about how retinoids literally saved my skin. My doctor prescribed me tretinoin 0.025 and 0.05%, and I mixed both of those together, and it was like night and day. Like my skin texture improved, my oiliness was under control, my acne disappeared. Like yo i'm telling you guys retinoid is everything everything i mean nothing else is giving me the results that retinoids have given me when it comes to texture oil control just a blessing a blessing that i didn't know i needed and i use it everywhere i use it on my abdominal trail just like anywhere that i find that i have like hyperpigmentation it's just just an amazing ingredient i love 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 retinoids especially tretinoin from the dermatologist and then second on my list here is hydroquinone hydroquinone is a gold standard brightening ingredient i know you might have heard a lot of things about hydroquinone how it's a bleaching ingredient how it's this and that and the rebound hyperpigmentation i haven't noticed that like i've mentioned in my previous videos hydroquinone is very much gold standard it works it has brightened my skin i used to have really bad hyperpigmentation on my face. The skin on my face was a whole different color compared to like my neck and my chest area, but now they're all like evened out. Hydroquinone was definitely, definitely has down a huge contributor to that. And I mix it with my retinoid. So those two together just, ugh just give me that like transformative experience on my skin. Every amazing thing that I've seen on my skin is hands down from those two products. I adore those two ingredients, amazing. And then last is niacinamide. Niacinamide, you have to have patience with it. Niacinamide works in different pathways. One is not as fast as retinoids or hydroquinone, but you definitely see results in like, uh, it depends on your skin type and like the degree of your hyperpigmentation or your dark spots. But definitely by two months, eight weeks mark, you should definitely see results with niacinamide. As far as recommendations for hydroquinone and for retinoids please see a dermatologist i don't want to recommend any drugstore
still over the counter products because I haven't found those to work personally for me. So please, please try to get your dermatologist to prescribe these products or ingredients, you guys. I mean, I, I don't. If you know a suggestion as far as drugstore, please recommend below. But from my experience, these ingredients only worked when I got them from my dermatologist. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I have for you guys. Um, please like this video, thumbs up, and um, support the channel. Like I said, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.